It is perhaps the most famous trophy in the world, the Stanley Cup. For 130 years, the Stanley Cup has stood as the ultimate goal of hockey. There's a lot of history in this cup. Every year, this cup gets passed down to the champion, year after year. It's not like the NBA, it's not like the NFL, it's not like baseball. There is only one Stanley Cup, and this is it. As a part of the uniqueness of the cup, every player's name is engraved. Now, after a while, the names get taken off, but they'll end up in the Hall of Fame. They're forever part and etched in this cup. And every player gets a ticket home one day, and they get their day with the cup. And there's a group of men who chaperone the cup, and we got Howie here from the NHL Hall of Fame as our cup chaperone. Hello, Frank. How's it going? Yeah, nice to meet you. I see the white gloves. I, I yes, sir. I you guys come out, you've always bring out the white gloves. We do. I mean, this thing has got so much history and so much uniqueness. It's, 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 it's amazing just to touch it. It's like, you can feel the history. You can feel it. Just uh, all the people who touched it all these years, uh, handed down since 1893. Amazing. I mean, uh, and, and for all its greatness, it's got flaws. Take, for example, uh, the 1981 Stanley Cup champion, the New York Islanders. <laughs> Very good. You know a lot of your stuff about the Stanley Cup. You've got yes. a lot of history there. That's yes. great. And uh, it changed a lot over the years, but there's all, it's always the cup. And that's what it's always about. I like how uh, the years the Canadians went, they actually have Club de Hockey Canadien. And then Montreal Canadiens was in 1993, but like the uh, early years, they wrote the uh, Club de Hockey de Montreal, Canadiens. Incredible, incredible. So Montreal is, uh, that's the one team that's won the Stanley Cup the most times. 24. Yeah, absolutely, you're correct. And uh, <laughs> at one time it was a race between uh, them and the, uh, the Maple Leafs, and the Maple Leafs uh, have been in, uh, basically in the ditch for uh, 55 plus years. Yes, yes, Almost. it's unfortunate for a original six team, but there's so much competition out there. It's a, it's a hard trophy to win, and uh, there's so many other good teams. It's hard to believe they haven't even been to a final since there's only six teams. True. That's the, that's the incredible thing about it. I mean, the only time the Seattle Cup's in Toronto these days is going to the Hall of Fame. <laughs> well, it's there all the time for the fans to come and visit, yeah. and. Uh, it's always on display. There are technically three cups. Yes. You got the original cup, which was retired around uh, 50 years ago, I believe. That's correct. And they, they figured that it was too brittle. They didn't want the cup to break. They didn't want the cup to break. So they remade the cup, and now there's two cups. You have this, the presentation cup. This is the official cup. This is the cup that goes around, travels around, and the players get. This is the, the cup the team gets. This is the cup, the players get their names etched on, of course you get them etched on both. But then you have a display cup, which is a stand-in and absolute total replica that's at the Hall of Fame at all times. That's correct. Now, I see that they did this. They put, I'm surprised they actually did this. Put the uh, marker that there was no season. Yes, yeah, so from what I hear, Mr. Bedman wanted to put it on the cup so it would show the history of it, because he didn't want to have two teams win back to back but have a, a, a year missing because then it would create a lot more questions about what happened. So it just shows the history of the league and what happened at that point, that time. And, you know, I think it's a good idea, I guess, to, uh, you know, to show it. Although it doesn't look the best, it still gives the history of it, so. That's true. Yep. Now, how many years are on each band? Each band holds 13, 13 winners. So 13 winners, so, and how many years left on this band at the bottom? There's seven more. Seven more teams, seven more winners are allowed on the bottom. So basically the uh, Maple Leafs have seven more years, otherwise they're off the permanent cup. That's correct. Tough look, Toronto. Yep, so, yeah, it's a very unique uh, design. Yes. Uh, you know, so it's, uh, mm -hmm. once you come off the cup, you still get enshrined into the Hockey oh, Hall yeah, of Fame. Oh yeah, they have the, 
the rings are like they're, they're flattened and hung on the wall. Absolutely. You have a lot of knowledge about the Stanley Cup. That's very impressive. Oh, thanks. All right, you ready for a little walk? Absolutely. Let's do it. All right. Okay. I'm going to take it a little slow because I'm on the ice <laughs> and uh, just watch my footing. Now, that cup goes everywhere, and I mean everywhere. I mean, uh, how many people travel with the cup? Uh, there's four of us that will do the main travel, and we have a few other people that will help out, maybe on a weekend or a week, depending on how busy we are. And uh, this year, um, well, actually, last summer, we had a, uh, one of our full-time employees from the Hockey Hall of Fame, uh, a woman... First time a female has uh, been considered to be a, as a, a cupkeeper, so we've had a new addition. Look at the cup yeah. tonight now. Yeah. Look at this. Nice. The cold is really kind of. Uh, I see how it, like, <laughs> it, it shines and then we. Made it frosty. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> like, uh, like it came out of the freezer. Right. Look at that. That's pretty cool, though. It is cool. I mean, I love <laughs> this cup. It's, it, it's, it's history. It's history. The cup has been to over 30 countries around the world. Back in September, we went to Australia. Uh, it was the first time the cup was below the equator, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we've been to Afghanistan to support the troops. I remember that. Uh, we've been to Russia many times, and uh, it's been to Japan. It's been to many, many countries. We have been to Alaska, and we have been far north. I think Scott Gomez took it to Alaska when he uh, won one of his years. I he believe was... you're right, yes. And the silversmith, they've been using the same tools for 130 years, basically. Is uh, it could be. Thing? I'm not sure about that, but it's probably true. How long has the cup been chaperoned? The New Jersey Devils were the very first team to have scheduled players' days with the cup, and that started in 1995. The cup was originally in 1893, purchased by uh, uh, Frederick Stanley, uh, who was the Governor General of Canada. Yes. And that's kind of like the uh, Canada's voice in uh, the House of Commons up there in, uh, back there in England. And uh, he brought it for 10 guineas, which was approximately $50 in uh, uh, U.S. money. Now, in the early days when there was no shaft road, sometimes there were places it probably shouldn't have gone. That's what I've heard too. So. Uh, what are some of your, your favorite trips you've had with Cup? Oh, uh, there's so many, it's hard to remember them all, but uh, I remember my first time going to Europe. Uh, it was a lot of fun. It was in 2011. Uh, the Boston Bruins had won that year, and uh, I was able to go to uh, Finland and uh, uh, Slovakia, and uh, it was just a great experience for me at that time. But uh, since then, I've been to probably a dozen countries around the world. I remember going to Russia with uh, Alexander Ovechkin, and uh, he put $15,000 worth of caviar inside the bowl. So that was a very unique experience there too. We've had a couple of uh, first time winners in recent years with St. Louis. Vegas. And Vegas. Now the current Hall of Fame, that used to be a bank. Yes. And when you walk and see the original cup, you're actually walking into a, a bank vault. Yes, you and they do. Have the, they have the cup on display in the middle of this room with this beautiful light shining in. It's like. It's, it's, it's absolutely stunning how they have the cup set up here. It's uh, priceless, I would think, because you, you, you can't replace the history with all the players that have ever touched this cup and it, the way it's been passed around. But there is an insurance value on it, of course. Uh, you know, 1.5 million from what I know of, but uh, again, you cannot replace the history, so it is priceless. Well, let me see, if, if, if I was like an owner of the Devils, what would I want to do with the cup? You know, I'd, I don't know if I'd do any crazy with it. I've, there's been so many crazy things that have been done before. So I guess you would allow it. But uh, one thing I would want to do is just go to the streets of Manhattan going, you can't have this, you can't <laughs> have this. Hey, Rangers. Yeah. You know, you know, MC Hammer comes out every year to talk to the Rangers and goes, can't touch this, do, 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 do. <laughs> can't touch this. You can walk around New Jersey and say, look what we won, but instead you want to go to New York and taunt everyone. <laughs> do you have a favorite food that maybe you think you might like to eat out of the oh, bowl? Oh, no. That would be good. Put some hot dogs in here. 
There you go. You have a team that you're uh, cheering for with the playoffs being on right now. It's still in the round round one, uh, early stages, but uh, some teams are getting close to be eliminated. But do you have a team that you think might uh, have a chance to get their name on it this year? Personally, I wouldn't mind seeing Burns win the cup for, in Carolina. Okay. That's for just a player. Otherwise, not the Canadians who take it back. One year, Ottawa, Edmonton, Vancouver, especially Vancouver with uh, Quinn Hughes. There you go. Good yeah, teams to choose does, uh, from. Come on, Canada. You deserve a year of the cup. I mean, the, the Blue Jays won in 93. Uh, a couple of months after the Canadians. Uh, the Raptors won 2019. It's time for a Canadian team to win again. I like your thinking. <laughs> <laughs> but any, any way you look at it, the best team's going to win it. Yes. So it's going to be exciting down the stretch. Uh, playoff hockey, there's nothing like it. Absolutely. What does Charles Barkley say about it? Uh, it's, it's the greatest tournament. It's, it's, it's so hard to win. It's like every game's exciting. Just, it's hard to, uh, you don't see many blowouts right. in the NHL playoffs. Yeah. The NBA, they get blowouts. Right. Uh, he says the Stanley Cup, what? greatest trophy in sport, and playoff hockey is like no other. And, like, and nothing is like playoff overtime hockey. Yes. That is just... Not in your stomach every play. But uh, thank you. Thank you for letting me touch this thing. Let me hold. I mean, this is a total thrill. I mean, just, 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 just the feel. Just the feel of the cup. It's just amazing. Yeah. It's been a real pleasure, Frank. Well, thanks. thanks very much for talking about it. Thanks. You did a great job.